Hi everyone, it's Amy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing an extreme room transformation, TikTok slash Pinterest inspired. This is by far the most extreme transformation I have ever seen. This is how my room looks. It has blue walls, so many shelves, and then I also have a loft bed. I also have a futon, which I converted into a bed. That's the one I've been sleeping on. Under the loft, we have my desk, a bookshelf, and a trash bin. The last wall just consists of a shelf, some pictures, and my two doors. In general, this room has so many shelves full of things that I've collected over the years. First thing I'm gonna do is take everything off of my wall because I need to paint and I cannot paint if everything is on my wall. There's a lot to do. Basically, I'm gonna keep two shelves, except I'm just gonna rearrange them, so I still have to take down literally everything. It might fall on me, that's the scary thing, but you know what, you know what, we'll deal with it if it happens. Bruh. Bruh, I'm literally getting like a full-on muscle workout. It kind of hurts. Let me just tell you, my arms hurt so much. You couldn't even see for the last one because it was so high up. I don't recommend doing that. But anyways, this is so weird. In my old room, I had like green color, except I never moved this shelf. So that's literally the original paint. I think that's all for today. I'm honestly kind of worn out from that. It's day three and I'm gonna start off today by moving all of my furniture out of my room or most of it at least because I'm definitely gonna get paint splattered everywhere. I have a ton of holes in the wall from all of the shelves so I have to putty that up. We're at Walmart. I have to go and get some brushes. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it has everything. Like, look at this. Everyone's staring at me. It's not that weird to have a camera. Like, what? Bruh, I literally lost my mom. What? I just changed. I'm wearing two like old pieces of clothing. Going in for the paint, kind of nervous. Very good hack, turn your shirt inside out before you paint so that way you don't get anything anywhere. I just finished doing all of the walls that took a week. I didn't think it would take that long, but my walls were so teal that I had to do like three or four coats for everything. And my hands, I, I can't even feel them. They're like all blistery. My room looks like a tornado came in. There's just so many like little dots here of paint. This fit really goes hard. Last thing I'm gonna do is paint all of the edges of the closet door. I also got paint on the sides of my mirrors because I was too lazy and didn't tape it. I gotta go and scrub that off.
It's been a couple of days, took a break. Next step is to go and fix and take off the loft bed. So the first thing I need to do is take off the mattress from the loft bed. And then we're also gonna build my new bed frame from this because it's pretty much all there. It's just gonna be like flipped around in the bed on top of it. Now that we got everything out, we're gonna move this onto its side, literally, like that. Then we're gonna figure out how to do the bed frame. Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another memory. Luckily, did it. The bed frame is done. It does have some like issues with support, so we're gonna fix that. The bed is done. I really like how it looks. Very high up, higher than I thought. Now I'm gonna go remove my futon right there and like collapse it up and pass that up and eat it out of there. It's a fat minute later. Right now, we're gonna go and paint my bed frame. If you look at my bed closely, there are some like marks like over there that aren't like white. And then I also have to sand down some parts. The smart move would have been to paint it before I put my mattress on top. I swear this looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, except just like a lump on a couch. Such a good backrest though. The first thing I'm gonna do is sand down these edges right here. I have like this sandpaper and then I also have my mask. Then after that, I'm gonna paint all of the sides. I'm not really gonna worry about these top slats because no one's gonna see them anyways. My bed frame is all done. I'm gonna go put this bed on top of it. Today, I'm going to disassemble this desk. Basically, I wanna take off this head piece so it's just like a flat desk and so I can put things on the wall. My mom actually made it. It's able to be taken off. It just has a bunch of screws that are like really deep down. So much dust. I just went and got out all the screws. If you zoom in closely, it's literally so dusty. I feel like this is going to crack so hard when I take it off. Yep, it just worked. It's still stuck. How do I even like begin though? This is the strangest thing I have ever done. It's not budging. Wait. Bro, bro, what the? I just spit in my nose. Wow, that's like pretty much perfect. Is it supposed to be like, what? This is how my desk looks right now. Oh, I'm actually really liking it. It looks a lot bigger because of that shelf space. I also need to heavily repaint this, not only the brown part, but literally this white part is so dirty because I've done so much online school. Nails are so bad. I truly am a mess. Look at this. I'm turning gray.
Now I'm gonna go and unpack and unbox and set up that office chair right there. Also spot my bumblebee in the background. It's honestly very vibrant in the sliding. It will probably take a long time because I always do instructions wrong, especially when I'm setting up things, so. Guys, I've never seen an office chair like this. Like, this is literally the butt part. And this is the seat cushion. That's so weird. This is kind of fun. It's a hand workout or finger workout. I don't actually think I'm doing anything. I'm a literal idiot. All you have to do was push it in and I was trying to twist it in. That's really sad actually. I think I'm just gonna sit on it and call it a day. Like, that, that's good enough for me. It's actually very comfy and this is so fun. Okay, I should, I should get back to work. Yeah, before I knock into something else. I'm literally so confused. Look, it doesn't go up. Or not. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go and try it out. Wow, I'm actually so hyped. Watch it break on me when I sit on it, but you know what, I did it anyways. Ooh, it's so comfy. Dude. Dude, this is such an upgrade for my wooden chair that literally is like half open. Not me spinning around in my new office chair for like five minutes straight until I get a dizzy ache. A dizzy ache? I'm actually so happy with how everything turned out. Over here though, does need some work. It's like kind of crowded, this enclave. I might honestly just get rid of that white bin. This clothing rack is naked, does need some clothes to dress it up. I think the proudest part is this desk. Those screws were so screwed in, so I was having so much trouble getting them out. But with my insane arm strength, I was able to get them out. I was just glad that I was able to reuse things because you know, sustainability is super important. Also saves a lot of money and it still looks great. I'm so happy with it. Why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Hello there. Worm. I'm gonna be putting all of my stuff I'm selling underneath my bed. Part one of the transformation is done. Let's go take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you know when I post part two of this transformation where I decorate everything. See you in part two.